Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. So today it is Telly Tuesday, and we have our 4th of July week. Um, so we'll be off on the 4th. Thursday we won't be here, but we'll be back Friday. And then Wednesday, tomorrow night, let's not forget, we have our California Saga 2 concert. So cool. As we said before, David Crosby, Albert Lee, we got... Freebo and Alice, some of our sore favorites, and uh, Jason Sine. Jason Sine, which uh, we always love seeing him play. Um, you can find him with the Dirty Knobs too. But uh, this is, will be really cool. I'll be there. Jen will be there. A lot of the, most of the staff norm. We're gonna be partying, and then uh, yeah, and it's also another special day because it's gonna be my mother's birthday, which. Uh, she is the best ever, so. But uh, also on the family tip, we have uh, my Uncle Bob and Aunt Janet here from Philadelphia. This is the shirt. Uh, come on in, guys. Here we go, this hey, is hey. Uncle Bob. Hey, hey. And Hello, Aunt guitar. Janet. Hello, guitar of the day world I out came, there. I came to fix this hair. Don't worry. All those comments, It's it's. Uh, <laughs> this is what they're here for. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so Uncle Bob obviously uh, turned me on to a lot of uh, the music. Well, first of all, he plays saxophone. Uh, unbelievable. I'm not the only musician in the family. And uh, he taught me all most of my influences with my father and even kind of got my dad going, I think, as a kid. <laughs> so he's okay. kind of the culprit, um, <laughs> but got us on a lot of music. And Janet has always been there for support. We used to play uh, Chickie and Pete's, Rockets. Uh, in Philadelphia, um, everywhere. We've been all over, but uh, big support, and I'm glad to have him out. And uh, I've been glad to be here. I've been his groupie since he was 11 yeah. years old, <laughs> playing with go. Mike LeCompte in Philadelphia. Yeah, Mike LeCompte, that's a good shout out. Benny Cintioli, Vince, we love you. Bill, 19 Bill years this week, Michael's first guitar. Yeah. Fender yeah. Squire. My first guitar I got, uh, my first Squire I got. July 4th sale at July Sam 4th Ash. sale, Sam Ash, yeah. uh, which was at the time Franklin Mills. Yeah. Um, which Still there. Yeah. Yep. Still there. Now but they call it now Mills. Philadelphia Mills, no, yeah, 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 which is not as buy, cool. Buy my reeds there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but um, yeah, that was that guitar. I still have it, too. I still have it down in the basement. It's going nowhere. So now <laughs> you know why I'm why I'm here. It's their fault. <laughs> That's right. But uh, no, we love having you guys, and I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I appreciate Thanks, you so Glad much. Glad to be here. Glad yeah, yeah, here, yeah. And we will uh, maybe uh, tomorrow I'll look different. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you, guys, you. so much. Amazing. I'm, I'm so lucky. Uh, so today, uh, come on back. We got something really cool. So to this, if we can get it open, <laughs> 1955 Fender Telecaster in see-through blonde finish. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now, first thing you'll notice about this guitar is how light it is. It's just unbelievable, um, and it punches. The tone really kicks. Um, it kicks some ass, but it's it's not a heavy guitar. It's an ash body. Uh, which is what you want, and it's also when they first started the white guard, um, not even a different ply in there, and there's not even a black splitting it up. Completely white, which is really cool. And then you have your three-way selector. Uh, your neck pickup is a dark circuit, um, which actually sounds pretty good. I, I know I tried the dark circuit on that Sparkle Blue Custom Shop Tele. Um, I actually like this dark circuit a little better. It's not too dark, which is cool. Um, and then you have these kind of cool rounded off knobs, which I love. Usually they're a lot flat. They have that flat look to them, but uh, really cool. Um, but man, this neck pickup, this flat pole single coil on the bridge is nasty. Um, we're going to do a little Led Zeppelin today and uh, show you. But this thing is a strummer. It just resonates right in your hands. It's just like chunk, chunk. <laughs> but uh, really cool. Um, and then you got the, the script logos, and uh, you got your clues and tuners, which is really cool. And uh, But just an amazing guitar, 1955. I mean, just to think of all the things that this guitar's been through and still looks unbelievably clean. Um, strength third body, original case, and also, as you can see here, apparently came from uh, Buck Owens' entourage, but it looks like Buck's playing it himself, but I think the fretboard has more wear on this one, but this apparently came from the entourage, um, one of his guitar players, so really cool, another look at that. Um, but around the right era, so really cool, original case, um, you got your, uh, like I said, it's 6.8 pounds, so it's, it's not heavy at all, but it's got the ashtray in there, original. 
which you can see, really cool. But really light guitar with a lot of punch and that organic tone that you can't really find. Uh, and I think Telecasters especially uh, really resonate in the vintage. Um, they're just, they had it down. This was Fender's first guitar, starting with the Broadcaster and you know, really amazing, so. Let's go play it. Let's go play it. Yeah, let's go see what wait. we can do. Let's go. <laughs> We're going live, that was so it. Wait, let's go. We but that was it. Song one, <laughs> song two, song three. <laughs> All right, that's oh, wow. it. <laughs> Let's go, hurry. All right, let's go. All right, we're out front with the 1955 Fender Telecaster in see-through blonde finish. Uh, really cool guitar. We're also going through the 1966 Pro Reverb uh, from Fender. Uh, all EQs at noon, a little bit of verb. And we also have the Tube Screamer TS-808 and the Ditto Looper, but we won't be using it on everything. Uh, <laughs> all right, here we go. Starting off uh, with that dark circuit and uh, just the thumb. circuit and we're going to use a little looper. Here we go. Oops. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now we're gonna go uh, wide open uh, to that bridge pickup and uh, gonna do a little Zeppelin. Here we go. Have it, your guitar of the day, 1955 Fender Telecaster in see-through blonde finish. Uh, what an amazing guitar! Wow, I mean, I know we're looking at it in the back, but let's give it a double take. Uh, you can check out these guitars at normansrareguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. I'm always glad to be here, and we will see you for a whole week of guitar of the day and happy Fourth of July for the whole week. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.